everyone and welcome to Season 4, Episode 7 of From Hope to Glory at Truro City with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So, we are in the last day of the season. We play Yeovil, who sit in 14th position, and we won the league. Top of the division, miles ahead of everybody else. It's time to party. <laughs> So here we are, top of the league, 101 points, one game left to play. The next team down from us, Torquay, in the end, got into second position on 84 points. We have absolutely dominated this division this season and we are going up into the Football League, Truro City, into the Football League next season, into League Two. It's going to be a mighty challenge. But we're up for it, I have no doubt. This season has been fantastic. Whether we can keep all of these players that have done so well for us this season or not, I'm not 100% sure. Some of them are a little bit unhappy. Some of them have got issues. Some of the lone players I don't think we're going to get back. But we're going to try our best to keep as much of this squad together as we possibly can. And then next season, who knows what's going to happen. You can see that we've got a little bit of an issue with goalkeeping uh, in goalkeeping terms today. Uh, Alfie Roberts, our number one choice, is out for the next few weeks. So his season is done. And Hammond, who will play today, has been just coming back from a knock himself. So he's not quite 100% fit. We've got uh, Mundell also, who's out injured. He's probably going to be leaving in the summer. He's not happy at the moment because his playing time got reduced through uh, the likes of Williams coming into the club. So he's probably out of the club this uh, summer, probably. So we're unlikely to see him again. And then we've got two real big questions about this guy, McJanet, who in the end stole the, uh, the goal scoring starring role from Horsewood. In the last few weeks, he's been scoring a load of goals and he's now got 38 in 38 starts and three sub appearances. But he's only on loan. So can we get him back again? Time will tell on that one. And the last one is Horsewood himself. The star of the show for quite some time is on 37 goals after 33 starts, 11 substitute appearances. But if you remember, he's been unhappy all the way through the season because last season he wasn't playing very regularly and wanted to move to better his career. Now, hopefully he can begin to see now, having got promoted with us and having played a bucket load of games, that he can do that here. But just at the moment, he's still holding firm in the thought that he still wants to leave for a new challenge. We're going to have to change a few bits over the summer, but hopefully not wholesale changes and we can keep most of this squad together. But for today, it's all about celebrating the fact that we win the title in the Vanarama National League. We've got one more game to play against Yeovil. Let's go, let's go check out how we get on. So you can see that in terms of what our recent form has been, it's been very patchy since you and I were together. But to be honest, it was only patchy because I rotated the side because we'd already won stuff. And I wasn't worried about um, who was playing other than just keeping everybody fit and healthy as much as possible. So we did lose some matches. We lost the semi-final of the FA Trophy against Wrexham which was unfortunate, but ultimately we just couldn't quite cope with them in extra time. We got um, right the way through to the end of 90 minutes and then they did us in in the um, extra time, unfortunately. But that took us out of that competition. Other than that, the league form, as I say, has been patchy. It's been rotated a lot. But even still, all the way through this, you can see the likes of Horsewood, Horsewood, McJanet, Ball, uh, who else have we got? McJanet, Neil, all of the strikers scoring all the way through the season, right the way up till the last match that we played with Neil and Ball on the, on the score sheet. So they've been phenomenal. Everybody else has supported them very nicely. At the end of the day, the, the most recent form hasn't been fantastic, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we're going to win the league. So we've already seen the injury issues that we've got in goal and the fact that Mundell is out. McJanet also 
injured coming into the last game. We could probably risk him, but I just don't feel the need to particularly. Charlie Ball goes on to the bench and Andrew Neal goes into the starting lineup alongside Horsewood. Andrew Neal, 21 goals in 23 starts and 11 sub, uh, sub appearances. And the last of the four is Charlie Ball and he's currently on nine in 18 and four sub appearances because he had that long-term injury at the, the first half of the season, basically was wiped out for him. He struggled to come back a little bit, but in recent weeks, he has been doing all right. We are sitting comfortably top of the table. We have won the league by an absolute canter. Today, we get a chance to play with no pressure on us whatsoever. We're away from home at Yeovil, but there's no pressure. We can go out there, enjoy ourselves, and hopefully end the season as proper champions would and go out and get the points. 14th, Yeovil sit. We sit in top. Surely, three points are there for us to take. For, for today's game, we're going to go with our main 11 as much as we can, other than the goalkeeper, of course, and McJanet, who's injured. So we have Hammond in goal today, Rogers at right back, Dunlan at left back, Kazoo and Whitmore in central defence, Bucock and Williams in central midfield, Wright Phillips on the right, D'Souza on the left, and Neil and Horsewood up top, with a bench of Stavru, Casey, Silla, Salam and Ball. So one last time this season, let's get into to today's game and see what happens. So we've outstretched the arms. We've told them if we play our natural game, the result will come. There's no reason why not today. We are going out, um, out of this division as champions up to League Two. Can we um, sort of sign off in style, let's say today, and get a few goals and prove that we are worthy champions? As I've seen, uh, as you've seen before already in this episode, it hasn't been all our own way this time round, particularly the last month or so. Um, but Okay, a corner comes in from the far side to Yeovil and they get the header on goal and it loops over the top of everybody and goes in the back of the net. As I say, our form hasn't been fantastic in the last month or so. It kind of didn't really need to. It's disappointing that we couldn't get all the way through that uh, period of time with a few less losses. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. If we can win today, the last couple of games have been a bit better and we could potentially go up with some momentum behind us. But Yeovil had certainly putting up a bit of a scrap so far. Again, in 26 minutes, they've come up with another highlight. But we win the ball and put it up long to Neil, and he loses out, unfortunately. A Yeovil counter-attack really quickly, and it's Hammond in goal that has to save us on this occasion. But it's gone back out again over that far side for a corner. And we saw what happened in the last one, and this, this one didn't quite have the same um, style about it. And Hammond eventually claims the ball very comfortably. You can see that we've had a few attempts at goal, but nothing on target so far. But again, Yeovil dropped the ball into us in midfield. Bukok moves forward onto the edge of the box and then has a wild shot that goes wide of the post. And the goalkeeper didn't even have to move to do anything with it. And again, we fail to register another shot on target. One on target so far. XG rating of 0.6. Not really good enough, is it? Now, Yeovil haven't done too much more than that in their XG rating, but they have had more shots on target and that has been demonstrated in the fact that they've got a 1-0 lead leading up to half time but we've maybe got one last highlight here and Hammond goes long out to this left hand side but Yeovil win the ball you can see that we uh, re regain our defensive shape and we wait for them to approach us so we can potentially get a foot in somewhere and nick the ball from them. It hasn't worked so far. They've worked a chance for a cross and they hit the woodwork, I think. And it goes over the top of the bar for a goal kick. And again, we were a little bit lucky just at the end of that first half. And that takes us through to half time, 1-0 down. And you can immediately see seven shots at goal, one on target is not good enough for the strike force that we've got. Even though it's been slightly disrupted today by McJanet not being there, the four players have, have scored bucket loads of goals all through the season. And it's a shame to not see them do it today. So let's see if we can just one more time 
get a performance out of them in the second half. So we're going to thrash the arms about, tell them that we're not pleased. It doesn't matter that we have won the title already. I want them to perform as champions. So we're going to go into the shouts and fire them up also and see if that can help us. And we lose out in midfield again. And again, they've got an extra person in midfield at times, which is causing us some problems a little bit. So we might change the shape in a minute. Uh, but they get one more uh, attempt at goal before we do. And they have put it wide. So we are going to pause the game there. We're going into the tactics. And then we're going to go into our 4-2-3-1 and that means taking one of these strikers out and neither of them are playing well but I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave uh, Horsewood in there and we're going to put Salam on in his place and we're just going to switch Salam and D'Souza out and he'll play the attacking central midfield role. Let's just clarify some of these um, roles that they're all playing. And that's what we're going to do for the last sort of uh, half hour of the game or so, even more than that, isn't it? 40 minutes still left. We've changed early, but only because it's not been good enough so far. So we'll go back in and just see if that enables us on a slightly more direct style of play, um, a bit more counter-attacking style. So we soak up the pressure and counter-attack and see if we can get that extra man in midfield that we've now got to do something for us but again it's Yeovil on the ball and again they pulled out a save or a woodwork saved us from another shot at goal and we're still not really threatening enough 10 shots at goal only one on target and we've got lots and lots of underperforming players right back not doing great uh, central midfield right wing they're all really really poor today so we're going to take one of our central midfielders out and we're going to have to take Williams out and put Silla in and then we've got one more move that we can make I don't really have another right back on the bench we've got a 6.3 from Whitmore but we kind of feel like we need to do something a little bit further up the pitch so I think what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to take Horsewood out and I'm going to put Charlie Ball in possibly for one last go this season to see if he can uh, continue his scoring ex exploits that he's been doing recently he struggled this season especially for the first half with injury but can he have the last say in the last game and see if he can get us some points and <laughs> That is why occasionally we use the long throw because at this level it puts everybody in complete chaos. It bounced a couple of times, Dunlan with a real long high looping throw. The defender missed it completely and on the half volley, Salam buries it into the back of the net and we're a little bit fortunate but I will take it and we're going to use one last shout of demand more for the last 10 minutes of the game just to see if we can get anything extra out of this group of players and we do we nick the ball D'Souza nicks it Bucock takes over in midfield out to Dunlan on the left hand side moves the ball on down the left hand side to Salam slows the play up a little bit gets the cross in and we get a headed goal from DiMaggio Wright Phillips who is of course our player now we had him on loan for the first part of the season we bought him in in the latter part of the season to help us with our loan quota so he's around for next season and it was a good bit of work from Salam and he puts a brilliant ball into that po uh, far post from where he saw it and Wright Phillips gets above the defender and puts the ball in the back of the net and we have turned this game on its head we were one down a few minutes ago and now we are 2-1 up with five minutes still to play is Yeovil on the ball again they've gone long over the top and they've got the jump on us and the striker bears down on goal and again Hammond rescues us is he going to be here next season not sure he will be but he's having one last display to show that he's a very capable goalkeeper at this particular level we win the ball ball holds up the ball that's not easy to say right Phillips takes over sweeps it out wide left to Salam can we do the same again and we don't quite the 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 cross in from Salam was a little bit long for Wright Phillips, but he did pick up the loose ball eventually, drops it back to Rogers, who is then clattered by a defender. 
And we get a well-placed free kick to just sweep a ball into that far post, maybe, from Dunlan to see if we can get a head on it to get a chance at goal. And it's not the head, but it's the foot of Whitmore coming in on that far post. And the ball swings in, finds him in a little bit of space. And he pokes the ball very, very calmly into the back of the net for a central defender. That is a very, very good volleyed goal at the far post. And we go 3-1 with a couple of minutes to go. And we have, in this second half, turned on the style. That change of sh shape gave us the extra man in midfield over what they were playing at times. And it really demonstrated itself. So that's the benefit of having a couple of different formations and tactics that you've got at your disposal that can change the game if and when need be. We're not going to overanalyze this particular match. We are just going to check in and just see the XG rating rose, the t uh, shots on target rose along with the shots at goal. We had a 50-50% possession game, 77% passes and completion. I'd like that a little bit higher if I could. But next season is all going to be about the same sort of approach I would imagine we're going to be a slightly lesser dog in a bigger league and we're going to have to work really hard to get our points so we might be using the 4-2-3-1 quite a bit and trying to get more people in midfield but anyway that is for another day for today we get a chance to win the league in relative style in the last half hour of the game So it is absolutely worth our time rounding up this particular season and starting it in the league table itself. Right the way from top to bottom, bottom of the table, Bromley get relegated with 14 points and we get promoted with 104 points. 61 goal difference compared to 27, 28 for the next couple down from us. We had a phenomenal season all based around those four strikers getting 115 goals for us this season, which is amazing in itself between them and added some from midfield as well but ultimately we played really well for most of this season that last month was a little bit sketchy but we didn't need it to be anything else and we have absolutely dominated this division so I've now got to go away for a summer transfer window and figure out what to do with this group of players next for next season. We are going to lose a few. I'm not sure Hammond will res uh, return. I'm not sure about the uh, lone players. We're going to try, but I'm not clear about that. We've got the likes of um, Mundell going. We've also got Harvey not happy with his amount of game time, so he's probably going as well. There's going to be some changes for next season. We do have to improve the quality here and there as well. We haven't got a brilliant financial base to do it from particularly so it's going to be wheeling and dealing again selling a couple of players maybe um, and then finding some good loan players and some good um, free transfer bargains etc but I'm sure now that we're up in the football league the quality that we could potentially attract to the club has probably gone up slightly as well. So you never know who might be out there for us to go and find for next season. It's going to be a fun one, but that's going to basically do it for today. We've won the league at a canter in the end. We've performed brilliantly well. I'm so happy in the end that we didn't go up last season, that we had this one season in this division to really build ourselves and build the confidence and mo uh, momentum behind us for next season's really big challenge challenge and it is going to be a big challenge but we're up for it we're going to see how the summer goes and then next season Truro City up in the football league fantastic so until then thank you for joining me today for this end of season stuff I mean we've had a brilliant season but Janet in the end outscored everybody else but only just if we go and look through these players they all performed really well they all got a bag load of games under their belt really other than a couple of them and look at these goals 38 from McJanet 21 from Neil 37 from Horsewood 9 from Ball all in uh, fantastic goal scoring form when they were fit to do it 
And it meant that we had a fab, fantastic, brilliant season in terms of the amount of goals scored, which dominated the division. All brilliant, all fantastic. Really happy with it. Bring on next season. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community. The more, the merrier. There's loads of ways to be part of a community these days. You can come and join me on Discord and Twitter. You can join my Patreon and support the channel that way or through my merch store. All of those links in the description below. So go and check them out for me. But until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.